Okay, going straight into it with Min Min versus Falcon. This is going to be an interesting scenario. Falcon has to figure out ways to get back off the stage. Because Tsuki's off stage and he has no jump, he's dead. Because the arms will just be there's, there's no room for error here. Yeah, like you said. I feel like this is gonna be a volatile matchup. Um, you know, I, I hate just saying something's gonna be straight up volatile. But Falcon is one of those characters that just. Okay, I was gonna say Falcon is one of those characters that once he gets in, it can be really bad. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just think being able to get in is very, very difficult. I, I think it was bad to get. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Min Min has the advantage of just keeping Falcon out, but once Falcon does get in, he has to convert as much as he can. And I think in this matchup, I think she's at like that perfect weight, and also her her box is a little tall. I think she's at that weight for like Falcon combo percent. Um, so I think what uh, Vasti has to do is essentially. Don't put, is like not jump too much because you can get caught with the arms doing that. And no one went to shield. So you can shield those arms and she's in a state of lag, that's where you can start gashing in as Falcon. Mm -hmm. Just because he has Yeah. Um So like yeah, like you like you're saying, the thing right now is like, man You have to find a way to mitigate mitigate the zoning and one large part is the art of walking or at least inching forward right true because, because right now slap has been doing a great job of doing the walk away nares with the saucer the saucer um and um so whenever falcon's jumping uh, uh I'm just throwing out that ball, or throwing out that buffer as a retreat in air. And I think it's getting any fuck all of that. I mean, uh, that's doing a long way to go right now. Definitely, definitely. Uh, man, just sent up that kill, which is good. Now you can kind of take advantage of this raid. Um, I would just say keeping Min Min in the air is definitely like the way to go. Like, just keep going for those up airs, make sure she doesn't land. Once she does, it'll be over for her. Uh, hey, just like that. Okay, guess who's back in the game? Yeah, beautiful like, Falcon's, stock. One, Falcon's one of those characters. Falcon's one of those characters, man. Okay, just getting back to that. Ooh. Okay, let's move um, here. Oh. A B? Okay. Okay, now Gatsby's in. Dude, uh, that really does stuff. Yeah. Um, seems like Gatsby kind of like got a rhythm to it. Wasn't really going as slow. <laughs> but, um, Gatsby seemed like uh seemed to find a rhythm later on in those docks to the wall that Slam was putting out. But like, man, Slam was just like, build the wall. A plus. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the percentage that breaks the uh, armor on Falcon side B? I forget the percentage that breaks the armor on the side B. I don't think I don't think it's a percentage that it breaks. On, I think it's like um, I don't think it's um, heavy armor. I think it's super armor. Oh, it's just purely just super armor. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, wow. sure. I might be wrong. I might no, be I completely think you're correct. But um, I'm pretty sure. Super armor. Because yeah, um, in that, if, if that it is, if it is super armor, I would say just committing to the side B probably would have been the way to go. Uh, when Min Min was grounded. Um, also, I noticed a lot of like rising up airs. I think rising nair is actually another good tool because it sets you, it sets the opponent off stage. And when you're constantly doing those rising up airs, you're still in that state of lag. So even if you land the up air. You're put in this position where people can kind of just punish you for it, mm -hmm. um, just because of that little lag that it does have, uh, um, and that's probably why a lot of Falcons immediately fast fall after up air because they want to make sure that they can keep their followers up. So definitely punishing that is essential. 
Um, that said, though, they are on Kalos, so perhaps this could work out for Gaspi. Oh man, Gaspi stopped jumping into the slam challenge. <laughs> like, because right now, Gatsby's just getting zoned out. Okay, okay, cut the, cut the, cut the, uh, here, uh, can you back. Oh. What? I was like, what do you think Gaspy needs to do? Because I feel like right now, Gatsby is kind of just going to go up here like... Good down air, and then... I feel like Minmin is such a sitting up off stage that you can do something like maybe throw out an air. Maybe throw out an air. Get a, get a little in there to match the face. Other than that, just pressing forward and just beating against the wall is what you do. So. And Slam is just going to keep doing this. Yeah, so right now, uh, so I'm doing the same thing, and you know what, now thinking about it, I'm not really sure about, I know, uh, Kalos is a very good Falcon stage, but against Min Min, I don't think this is the stage that you would want to go on. Giving a stage where Min Min has a lot of space, it can take some route a lot harder than for, say, like, maybe a short, a smaller stage. Because that was, that was kind of rough. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Man. I know Falcons like the stage because they can tech off the platform, so they try to get edge guarded, wall jump off the platform to pressure people off the side of the ledge, right? But I feel like in a situation like this, that type of environment benefits Mimin a lot more than it is Falcon. And um, I understand it's probably a comfort fix, but uh, in those situations, man, we're all, we just need to like rethink the strategy a little bit. But um, good stuff by Gatsby. Gatsby got, what is that? Fourth? Right? Yeah. Yeah, Gatsby's not fourth, so good stuff to Gatsby, man. Gatsby is, is of the school of Nixie. Um, oh, it's best five? Oh, let me just send best five. Yeah, okay. Six. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I have to say though, uh, some of Slam's super jump, super jump into question mark approaches, like super jump into like throwing out the laser, super jump into throwing out the discus, right? Is a really good way to pressure carries off stage, especially deterring them from going high, especially carries with bad recoveries who want to go high sometimes. Great way of deterring that and making them a little scared and second guessing going high. Um, and we're going back to Kalos. I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with that, but okay. Um, and uh, thanks for the bits, Mar Steeler, Maril Steeler, Steeler, excuse me. Um, yeah, and we're going right back into Kalos. Let's see if Gassy can make some adjustments. Maybe less jumping approaches. Trying to hold stage position a little harder when you have Min Min at least towards the edge. Okay, I like that roll in. See, I, I like I like the I like that roll in. Oh, did we die? I like that roll in because at the same time you're rolling past the arm and you're closing space. It's about after the second arm, right? Because sometimes when you roll in. After the first arm swing, you get hit by the second one. 
Now rolling in after the second one, right, you get climb advantage to punish that, right? And Gatsby already off to a better play than any of the other games, getting that first stop. Oh, you died, bro. Yeah, you can't recover. And that was great stuff by Gatsby. And something that I've been noticing right now with Gatsby, Gatsby has been jumping a lot more. Uh, compared to the other two games. And he's taking... He's utilizing... He's using fewer jumps. And utilizing his jumps a lot better than he did. First games, at least from what I'm seeing. And right now, he's, and he's capitalizing. Get that Nair too! And that's what I like to see. We want to see the Nair too. I know he's the next piece pool of Falcon, and Gatsby's Gatsby. So I know Gatsby knows about those Nair 2s. He knows how to make people feel bad about themselves, right? So good stuff by Gatsby, man. Going out there with that Nair 2, catching. Catching um, Slam trying to swing back on the stage. And now we got a set. We got a set now. Smashville, and this is Slam's counter pick. Not really sure if I agree with it, but we're gonna see how Slam utilizes. I feel like this one was, like this one was double edged sword counter pick because Vimin arms people are going to the stage and Falcon doesn't want to get in, but with that being said, immediately Slam just throws Falcon off the stage and he dies. And I think that's due to the stage being a little bit smaller. So uh, good stuff on uh, Slam to make me shut up. And I, and I like the aggression. I like the aggression coming up from Gatsby. This is something that, as a set has been going on, and Gatsby has been doing more of. Gatsby has been being a lot more aggressive trying to end. That's something that, you know, we really need to do. So I'm still holding this center stage pretty hard. Yeah, good stuff like Gatsby. Oh no, dude. Um. Yeah. No. Right now, uh, Gatsby needs to close the sleep and slam is on the bird. And I like jumping over both of the arms. And also, and also, which is very important to get to, right? Sometimes people jump over the first arm and they're just like, I'm in, right? Sometimes you need to wait for that second arm swing. It's very important. You need to wait for that second arm swing because if you don't, you can get your hand in for that. Um, so with that being said, Slam, still doing the good thing, still throwing out those mirrors, trying to catch up and throw out this. And uh, right now, guys, we need to watch out because Slam can take a stop. Very easily by throwing Falcon off the stage. Yeah, I like how Slime is playing this right now. I like how Slime's playing. Very big. Very big. Edgeguard uh, is very important. We're for the down guys. Yeah. I don't think I don't think any of those falcon cakes to neutral has worked out for him. Because the thing about those falcon cakes to neutral is that unlike the five because of the armor, 
Um, I know it's very strong, but also very hard. And can get easily beat out by big hitbox. Like the spike ball, like the spike ball add-on. Um, the spike ball arm, excuse me. And yeah, and Slam takes that 3-1. One thing that Slam was very consistent on was the anti airing. Um, the good stuff on Slam. Um, but, you know, a great showing by Gatsby, man. Gatsby doing really well getting fourth place. You know, very good stuff to Gatsby, man. Very good stuff.